All hail to the chief, baby. Let's win some Team Slayer. That's right, all hail to the chief. Wait a second, I'm Master Chief. There's only one Master Chief. You're just a gray repaint. Actually, I'm silver. You like gray, huh? You ever read Fifty Shades of Gray? How would you like me to read that as I teabag your ass? Love you, kids. What up big kids, here's your big review of the Halo Play Arts Kai, Master Chief, and Spartan Mark V Silver New York Comic Con 2011 exclusive. Let me show off the packaging that these figures come in. It has a little warning, you might choke on the Chief, that's not good. Um, you can see Master Chief, you can see the New York Comic Con exclusive logo, exclusive 22 out of 400, so definitely a rare exclusive, they only made 400. It says here the Spartan Mark V Silver. The size of the box has the 10 year anniversary of Halo. It says Halo, Master Chief, and Spartan Mark V. See, the back of the box shows the figures in many different positions, and they also advertise the other figure where the Spartan Mark V advertises Master Chief and vice versa. It has a bunch of Japanese. You can open up the front of the box to show the window box of the figures. They're in their nice little window box if you choose to display them. Men and Silk box. And they also have. A little bio describing all their different weapons, like this one has a rocket launcher and the M60 pistol, and it talks about the Mjolnir armor for the Mark V. It talks about Master Chief on both of them. You can see Master Chief actually talks about the assault rifle, the MA55B. Uh, 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 so yeah, it has all these little details and everything. So feel free to pause and read them if you choose to. But yeah, you can see Chief there. Almost like he's in Krino sleep. Well, this is Sparta! Halo style. Let's take a closer look at them. And here we got Master Chief and the Spartan 5 Silver. Holy crap, I freaking love these figures. Let's take a closer look at these Spartans. I'm a big fan of Square Enix Play Arts Kai figures. They're probably my second favorite line or a type of figures after Hot Toys figures, and that's saying a lot. Um, even though the scale of these figures is a little weird, they are gorgeous, they're amazingly articulated, um, absolutely, especially if you're a video game fan, uh, like, I love NECA, but uh, uh, these figures put any video game figure that NECA does, or DC Direct to shame, look at that, I love, you know, the armor battle damage going on around this crotch area, ooh, something in him and Cortana, but wait, she's a AI, anyway, um, yeah, look at that paint, like, on here, even his fingers, the dirt, I do an amazing job on here. I, I love this Mark V armor, the Moliere armor. Love the visor. Uh, Halo has always had such uh, amazing armors and everything. Let's see here. Um, let's get to the weapons here. But um, yeah, he has pegs for his weapons, which I'll show here. Just love this so much. I mean, wow. Nice little blues right there. No peg holes, unfortunately, but these figures do stand really good, which I do like. This is a Master Chief Bud, Master Bud. Yeah, a peg hole for his weapons, but yeah, overall, I mean, just, I really love the sculpt and the paint apps. Now, the Spartan uh, 5 is pretty much just a straight up silver repaint of the Master Chief. That's why I'm reviewing them back uh, together because this was a New York Comic Con exclusive from 2011, last year. And yeah, like I said, it is the exact same mold, as you can see, just different paint difference. If you love silver, which is funny, it's Mark V, this is, should be Mark II, get it? Because, you know, Mark II, Iron Man. <laughs> anyway, but um, no, it looks cool. It has some nice blue parts here. Like I said, you can keep your weapons on the back right here. I do love the silver paint, though the wash on here is very nice. I really love it a lot. It is so cool. Like I said the mold is the same exact, but you know, just with the um, silver uh, paint apps instead of the green. Articulation, these figures are the exact same mold, so they have the exact same articulation. The head can fully rotate, which is awesome. Can go up and down, up that much, down that much. The arms can fully rotate, which is awesome. They also have an armpit joint that go in and out. They also go, you can lift the shoulder pad so they can go in and out, and it's on the ratchet joint, so it's nice. Rotates at the bicep right here, bends at the elbow, and rotates at the elbow too, which is awesome. It rotates at the wrist as well as go in and out. Um, he does have the upper ab crunch um, diaphragm that rotates. Um, it goes forward and back. 
Um, no waist articulation, but that's okay because of the upper ab. Um, the, the legs can go forward and back pretty far and go in and out pretty far up to that much. Not too far, but you know, because of the, the weight armors, but more than I would expect though. Better than the McFarlane ones. Um, also rotates the hard leg. Bends at two points at the knee. Nice um, ratchety joints right there. When this ankle is full, uh, fully rotated, they pivot forward and back. And they do have a little bit of ankle pivot if you rotate it side to side. So quite a bit of articulation. With each figure, you do get instructions on how to place the guns on the holsters or how to change the hands. Each figure comes with four hands. Um, uh, two have open type of palm hands that can kind of hold weapons and two pistol gripping hands. Same with the Mark V you can see here. Very nice detail on both uh, pairs of hands. Both figures come with a Spartan pistol, the standard pistol we use in Halo games. It comes with this peg that's not removable, so it can look kind of weird when he's holding it. But what's great about it, he has a whole peg that you can place on the side right here. They'll have it holstered, which is awesome. Or you can have it on the back, like you, they do in the game when you hold your extra weapons, which is very cool that you can place it either on the back or on the side. Master Chief comes with a Spartan solid rifle, which it can be a pain, um, not really a pain, but can be a little tricky putting it in. So I, I'm just keeping it in here. I don't want to take it out, but it also has a peg right here, which you can holster on the side or on the back. Has some nice, Paint up some greens right there. Also has some blue right there. It would have been cool if it said the ammo uh, clip, uh, like how it does in the game, but so it's very cool. Now the Spartan uh, 5 comes with this really awesome sniper rifle, which is very cool that you can actually bring down the little uh, stand for it like right there. It's very awesome, very huge. Like I said, I kept keeping this hand. This thing is huge, like I said, it's like, I think he's trying to compensate because he's not Master Chief or something, but damn. It has some nice green paint apps. It also has a peg on there, so if you want to keep it on the back, it's this thing would be huge, but I still think it's really awesome detail on there with the scope and everything. I, I really love it. Uh, this is different from the gray one that came out as a standard retail release. That one came with the rocket launcher. The New York Comic Con one comes with the sniper rifle. Time to play some Team Slayer. Can I be on your team? Sorry bro, Xbox only. <laughs> you're on my team. See I told you there was a silver lining that keeping me around. I still think you're great. Size comparison time. So here you can see that the Play Arts Kai, Master Chief, and uh, Mark V are in um, the same scale as normal Play Arts figures. You can see with Garrus uh, from Mass Effect 3 that they are a little bit shorter, but he's a tall character, so that's understandable. But they are 9 inch figures. You can see how much taller than this than the McFarlane, um, like 4 or 5 inch scale, whatever. Uh, Master Chief, you can see how much bigger they are than a standard 6 inch figure like Mark 6 Iron Man, but you can see how much smaller it is than the McFarlane 12 inch Master Chief by, you know, a few inches. If you love Halo and you like super detailed articulate action figures, Play Arts Kai are the figures to get. Now, I, I do love McFarlane uh, toys for the Halo figures. I did especially like the 12 inch uh, Master Chief, which I reviewed a few years ago. Um, but I really like these figures. They just, they're really easy and fun to pose. They have really great paint apps. They're very durable. It seems like, I mean, you have to be careful with some parts of it, like the weapons. Um, just be very careful with like the pistols, like the peg could come off, but you can super glue them back. But, um, uh, the only bad part about these figures is that usually, except for some specialty shops, you have to buy them online. Um, the, the, these ones, the Master Chief range was around $55, but um, the Mark V Silver, of course, is a New York Comic Con exclusive. It was $55, but I've seen him going now for $80 to some people re charging ridiculous amounts, like $400. Bucks. So I don't, that's crazy, but you do get that awesome sniper rifle. There is a silver, other silver grayish uh, Mark V that comes with a grenade launcher, so if you don't care about that, get that one. There also is a red, a blue, and a gold one. I actually want to get the red and blue one because I have, you know, red versus blue. God, I love that series. But yeah, um, the only bad thing also about these figures is the scale. The good thing is that uh, Square Enix makes a lot of these types of figures, which I have a bunch, from Devil May Cry, Resident Evil, 
um, you know, Mass Effect 3, uh, God of War, Uncharted. So if you have a lot of those, you have a lot of characters to be in scale with each other. But fortunately, they're too small for one six scale collectors. They're too big for six inch collectors. So if you don't care about the scale, they're amazing figures. Well worth the price, I think. I love the interchangeable hands, the weapons, but like I said, I, I highly, even with the minor nitpicks, I highly recommend them. For more geek news, reviews, and more, check out BKBN.net. I'm Sean Long, member of Celebrate Your Name in a big way. Where does he get those wonderful toys? He gets them at AlterEgoComics.com Excuse me, he was saying he gets them at AlterEgoComics.com <laughs> For the latest in hot toys, sideshow collectibles, replicas, and more, visit AlterEgoComics.com They take PayPal, pre-order, and they lowest prices on the net. Lowest price for hot toys? You must be joking. Do I look like I'm joking? Go to be KB and not that! Go to be KB and not that! Go to be KB and not that! I tell you to go! Go down! PS3 is superior! Our multiplayer is free! Sorry dude, but when it comes to multiplayer, this is SPARTA! Wait a second, I am a Spartan! Oh yeah? Well we're Spartans with guns. I will have my gun!